Welcome to Protest Prints. This is your opportunity to get your word out. Throughout the civil rights movement, designers have created signs to communicate with people, but an added advantage to a sign is that those words stick and can be looked at throughout history. Like, for example, this flag that was flown out of the NAACP headquarters in Manhattan in the 1920s. For 18 years, they hung that flag to mark every time a man was hung in the South, confronting Manhattan people that like to think of themselves as removed from those issues. There's so many powerful examples of activists that have used signs to make their message stick. So this is what we're doing in this project. You're going to come up with your message, and then you're going to make a print to share it. Pick up your kit from the SMC library. It's got everything you need. Then you're going to take your plate out of the kit and you're going to trace it onto just your regular Xerox paper because we need to know how big our print originals are going to be. So you can see here I've tried three different designs because there was room for three on my paper and I'm going to choose one for this demo. So to have our words properly print, we have to mirror them. And that's what the transparent piece of paper is for, is an easy way to do that. So here I am with my little piece of transparent paper. And what I'm going to do is place that over my original and I'm going to trace over it just, just the way it is. Here I go. Watch my superhuman speed. Great, now I have a copy of my original, but it's a transparent copy that I can flip into the mirrored version of my design. So now I have to transfer this onto my printing plate. So I'm going to use my transfer paper. Notice the inky side and the not inky side of the transfer paper. We want to put the inky side down on the plate so the lighter side is up. And then I'm going to put my mirrored transparent sheet paper over that and make one big stack with the, the transfer paper in the center. And then I'm going to take a pencil with a kind of more of a blunt end or a ballpoint pen and trace again over everything. Look, my dog really loves it when I trace. Here I go. I'm using just a medium regular pressure here because it doesn't take much pressure for the transfer paper to give me an impression. Ready and ta-da! Look, it's a mirrored image on my printing plate. Now I'm gonna take my blunt end of my pencil or my ballpoint pen and I'm gonna add more pressure as I retrace over all of those lines. I promise this is the last tracing you're going to have to do in this project but I am using pressure because pressure means that my, my dents in my plate will be deeper and less likely for the ink to fill up when I put the ink on it. All right, I can feel the texture. So I know it's going to be a good printing plate. So here I am at my ink station. I have one area that's just for kind of inking and another area that will be for printing just to keep my paper a little cleaner. So I'm using my acrylic paint for my kit. And then what I'm gonna do, just because this paint runs a little thick, is I'm gonna add a couple drops of water that I squeeze onto with my sponge brush. Then I'm gonna squeeze out my brush so it's just damp. And then I'm going to mix my paint together so it's thin and kind of spread out. Notice I have my brush on my side because I just want to get a nice even 
coat on the side of my brush because here's what I'm gonna how I'm gonna apply this ink. I'm gonna tap it throughout the surface of my plate. Otherwise, it tends to want to squeeze right into those little dents, and uh, and it doesn't make quite as good of a print. So here I am, just really putting a nice even coat over my entire plate. Um, and when I when I'm not seeing any white, but it's just not it's not swimming with ink, then I know I've got a good coverage. I'm going to clean my fingers off with the wet wipe that's provided in the kit because now I'm going to start handling my paper, and I don't want to print the paper with my fingertips. I want to print it with my plate. Uh, now I'm carefully dropping my plate in the center of my paper that's included in the kit and I'm just going to press it just a little lightly just to make sure it is um, connected before then I flip the whole situation and I'm going to use the back of the spoon that's in the kit to rub in small circles all over my paper just to make sure there's a nice connection between the plate and all of the paper. So here we go, the big reveal. Here, oh, I've got a print, and it is and it is a print of my original design. No justice, no peace. Nice thing about printing is I can keep making more. Then I can distribute my prints in multiple locations, thus amplifying my voice. And using different colors too, yay. Yay, Rio's happy too. Make sure you bring a print or two back to the library for us to display around campus. Thanks for participating and have a happy Black History Month.